Welcome back to Cricket 24 Hour Career Mode, and we're kicking off today with an absolute bang. We have just been offered to play in the biggest series yet in our career, and it is uh, India touring Australia. I'm hoping this is gonna be a five test series because that will be so much fun. Uh, so we will be taking that on, and I believe there's a potential that we'll be the captain of that series. We haven't been offered it yet, okay. But we're just, you know, we were obviously the captain of the Irish series, but not yet for India. Uh, and we have uh, also, there's gonna be a one day series and a T20 series as well there in that. Let's find out how big that series will be. One, two, three, four, five tests. That is absolutely thrilling stuff. And then uh, three one days three ODIs that is going to carry us through all of December and January of 2028. It is a stacked summer in Australia. Ireland for two tests, India for five. Uh, we're right about to kick into the 100. Then we've got the CPL. My goodness, there's so much happening. Let's get into it. So we are kicking off our first series of the 100 ever. We're going to be batting at number five. Uh, we're coming up against London Spirit. We are the Trent Rockets, of course, and this is the Lord's Cricket Ground, the home of cricket. Look at that pitch, very, very grassy, lots of grass covering on it. Should be a cracking way to kickstart our career in the 100. We're gonna be batting first here at Lord's, uh, which is exciting stuff, of course. The 100 being a 100 ball sort of event, uh, makes it interesting to see how many times we're gonna bat. We didn't bat at all, but we are gonna bowl here at the 35 ball mark. I swear I've never played this before in my life, like in terms of for Korea, because look at this scoreboard. It is very, very fancy. I don't think we've done this before. Hasaranga on strike. They need 103 from 65. That's nice little fielding there. And obviously three wickets are down, I believe, not three wickets used. Five ball overs, that's over the man at short cover. It was in the air for a moment. And they're gonna wanna run another one here. Throw it at the stumps, you're there, you're there. Uh, and of course you don't bowl overs here, you bowl balls. So there's another dot. So two dots from three balls, a two in there as well. That's a little come down the wicket for a dot, nice. And of course with the 100, you do have that like small caveat where you can bowl a 10 ball over uh, if of course, they do want you to bowl, uh, or 10 ball balls in a row, not a 10 ball over. Uh, so here we've bowled four deliveries. Actually, no, we bowled five, and now that has been changed. We're not gonna be used again until the 85 ball mark. We've bowled our five deliveries, it went for three. And of course, now the London Spirit need 32 from 19. We just need one more wicket or to keep them quiet. It doesn't actually tell us the score that they're on because it just says balls remaining and uh, and and runs required. That's a boundary, that's four from Mr. Beard. So is it worth having that extra offside field up? Oh, catch it! Oh, almost carried the short cover. I mean, let's be honest, it probably we probably don't need another one out in the deep there on the offside. I feel like we've got enough of this area covered. 28 from 11. Another, another dot would be great here. It's in the air, there's a man out there. I think it's over his head for six. Okay, so that makes it what? 22 or 16 from 10? Very interesting. So I'm gonna get the final five balls. They just need seven runs. One wicket wins it. I'm gonna keep this very offsided as that's where my protection is. Oh, it's a thick edge. It's going to race away for at least two. They're coming back. They'll get it. Yeah, it's five from four. Still one wicket left. Oh, it's a dot. That's nice. We like that. Five from three. Beard waiting for the right ball. Edged again. Going to be two again. Or maybe just the one this time. Just the one they settle for. Harris Ralph on strike. Makes it four from two. In the air, it's gonna be the single. Three will be needed from the last ball. Is there potentially overthrows there? Oh my goodness, it could have been. But it sets it all up for the last ball. I'm not gonna, do I pitch it up? Do I give him a chance to get underneath it? Do I fire it in? Yorker length. 
It's three from the last. He whips it leg sided. London Spirit win off the last ball. Wow, what a result. I tried to get this as wide as I could have, but it was just too straight. It was almost on off stump. Gave him the chance to get across. And we lose after just 151 from our 100 balls and just the two outs in that time because we didn't get a chance to bat. Disappointing. Uh, Nassim Shah, one player of the game for three for 18. I felt like I probably could have bowled another few overs. I went for 21 off my 15 balls. Uh, Nassim Shah, three for 18 off 20. That's actually really, really good bowling. But disappointing, we lose it on the last ball. Game two of the 100, we are back. We're still batting at number five. Hopefully this time around, we get an opportunity somewhere in the balls, uh, you know, with, with like 50 balls left, 40 balls left. Just even 20 balls or so to bat would be terrific uh, as we're playing at home here at Trent Bridge. We're going to bat first again. Didn't work out for us in the first match. Maybe this time we'll get a chance. We're not going to bat again. So our team does quite a good job. We're going to get the ball at the 30 ball mark. Let's see. Let's pitch it fair way outside off stump. That's where that last ball should have gone in the previous game. I don't know what we ended up with. Uh, must have been something good. They need 122 from the remaining 69 deliveries that they have in the sheds. Currently one wicket down. Barry and Nasenka at the crease going at about a runner ball. That's an inside edge that has gone very close to the stumps but missed it. And it was utterly disappointing that last game how it finished. With us, you know, not being able to pick up the end result of the win. Felt like I bowled really well. There was, you know, that one that went for six on my, you know, the end of my sixth ball or fifth ball. And now we've started off our first five balls with uh, with just four runs coming from it. So they said, bowl another five. And that we will. That's a little bottom edge, gonna run away for two or just the one. So that's the thing about the 100. If you bowl quite well, you do get the ball again or you do hold on to the ball. You're not limited by a six ball over. You can bowl a 10, a grouping of 10 deliveries in a row. And I guess as a spinner, you're more likely to do that uh, because of the fact that you know, less energy to bowl spin. That's a nice shot. It's in the slot. It's all the way at six. I'd love to get a chance to bat in this competition though. I feel like it's made for me. There's the first wicket, or at least my first wicket in 100 cricket. It's a Full one, little bottom edge, maybe helping it on its way to hit the off stump. Barry out for 32, it's two for 52. That's a great start, and already, catch that! Oh, it doesn't quite reach. But a bulb, 10 balls, 12 runs, and a wicket coming from it. That is a great start. How long's the power play in this? Is it 20 balls or 25 balls? Before you have to bring your fielders, or before you can put your fielders out? Can't be very much. Harry Brooks in as well. They need uh, 103, 100, 103 of 55. That's in the air. There's a man out there. Can he take it? Yes. Yes, he can. Harry Brook gone for six. And there is another wicket. I've got two. I've bowled really well. This is what happens. You just give me the ball. I make things happen. It's four for 60. Duthwaite to the middle. They still need 103 more. So that means we made 163, 162 uh, off our 100 balls, which is not a bad score. I wonder what he's like a really good score. Is it like 160, 170? Is 150 even good? Because I guess that's going at like a pretty decent rate. If an over's five balls, you want to be around about 10 over, which is what, 200? No. Oh, catch it. Actually, 200 would be the equivalent of 12 and over. So like seven or eight and over is the equivalent of something ridiculous. Anyway, we're, we've bowled 15 balls. We've got two wickets in that 15 balls. We've gone for just 15 runs. I think that's gonna be six more runs. Nasanka is getting a bit of a move on here. They're trying to get that rate down to close to uh, sort of, I guess, 10 runs and over, which would be two per ball. Edged. It's gonna go. And I think that's going to be uh, just the two. thought it was going to be a little bit more than that, just the two. A little bit of recovery. I need this fielder in close here because I feel like there is the chance of the edge. We just want them to take it. And the single here. 
I'm glad I'm not bowling like the, the super death like I did last time where I had to bowl sort of 10 of the last 15 deliveries. It was really complicated. Here I've only got two more balls to come. Now just one. I've got two for 24 from 19. Let's get this in the right spot, which we have this time. We're going to end with a single. Two for 25, our figures off 10. They need 50 from the final 20 balls. And they're not going to get it. They're going to fall about eight runs short or seven runs short. Shubman Gill going to win our player of the game as the Trent Rockets winning it, as we said, by seven runs in the end there. Shubman Gill, 94 from 48. <laughs> Terrific stuff. Uh, and, of course, with the ball, two for 25. Pretty good figures. We had one guy, two for 24. That's pretty good as well. Don't mind that from you. But a good result because we win the game, and that's what we wanted. Uh, let's jump into another one. Why not? Game three. For the third time, we're not going to bat. Literally faced zero balls. I think we were technically out there. Actually, no, we wouldn't have been out there because it would have been off the last ball of the inning. So we would not have actually even been out there. 153 on the board for the team. Shubman Gill, 69 from 41. Dean Solanke, uh, 69 from 53. As so we're going to be given the ball, I am assuming, at some stage again here at 40. Balls in, and let's see how we go here for the 100. They need 97 from 60 balls. Jay Swal is in. Varma is also in. And we've got plenty of offside protection, so a shot like that, it's good to have the men in the deep to keep it to just the two. There's a chance of a run out here, and I'm quick, but not quick enough. Yep. Tactics remain the same. Keep it wide outside off stump. You've got the protection there. Keep using them. Hit against the spin. Same tactics to Jai Swall as well. Comes down the wicket, should be another single. Another five balls from me. Problems potentially with this field. No, I think we've got enough of the outside covered. They're obviously going to try and come down or work us at the leg side like we've seen in the past. That happened to us. It's 31 needed from 20 now, 29 from 19. So, again, the tactic is here. Keep it full, keep it wide. Don't give them width to go over the onside. We'll concede singles happily. Oh, but boundaries like that just can't happen. They just cannot happen, Miss Fields. You honestly probably need to give me 10 balls to be a chance here. That's a big wicket, though. Ward is going to go. He nicks it through to the keeper. Hussain Shanto joins the crease. And again, a thin edge. Just worth the one. We'll put Varma on strike. I feel like give me another five here. Please. Oh, they've gone to Krishna. And then they've given me the ball back. You could have me bowl the last ten. That would be a, b a big strategic move. They bowl the last 10 overs. Thick edge, dot ball. Got the man covering the inside edge as well here. But is it worth a slip? That's in the air, that's four. In fact, could be six. It is six, they need seven from eight. Perhaps I have. That's in the gap, that should be close to four. Fielder there, can't stop it, it's three needed. I've only done as much as I possibly can here. This is gonna be at least one, so it'll tie the game. And uh, five balls to go. Are you going to keep me on? No, you're not. You're going to make it someone else's problem. So we're going to lose the next ball. Southern Brave winning by seven wickets. We just don't make enough runs. Okay? It's pretty clear we don't make enough runs given we have so many people in the shed. 150 is clearly not enough in a competition this skilled. I need to bat at some point. Put me in, coach. Put me up the order. For the fourth game in a row, we're going to bowl first. And again, I don't get a bat. Now, if we go on to lose this game, which is probably looking likely given the rate that uh, Birmingham are going at, what is going wrong with our batting lineup? Because clearly, we've got a team who's batting well but not aggressive enough, right? If they can get to an innings, two down, three down, and I don't bat, like that's problematic because if we're losing games, it's... Someone is not scoring quick enough or not scoring enough. I feel like the bowlers are doing a fairly decent job, but the batsmen have to lift. That's why I'm like, well, if they took more risks and get out more, 
it'll give everyone else an opportunity, like myself, to try and come in and score a little 20 from six or something. Because that's the sort of bonus score you're going to need uh, when we've had a, a series like this where we haven't really performed as a squad. So again, they're on about that 120 score. They need 32 from the last sort of 10 overs. That's the long boundary out there. I'm trying to get him to hit two, and it's going to be six. And keep our bowling fairly straight here. That time, the man's out there. Should take the catch and does. It's a wicket, but more importantly, a dot ball. Makes it 26 from 18. It's out Shaquille out for 15. It's four for one, 27. Josh Philippi. Try his own. Comes to the middle. I'm going to bowl it tight. Here, that's round the corner. There's a protection there. That's good. I don't really want him hitting to the offside here because that's the short boundary. See what we can come up with. That's absolutely nothing of the sort. That's six. That's just about ended my whole career. And it has been very, very difficult, challenging. And this sort of a field has not worked for me. I didn't bowl well at all in that game. But once again, we are doomed by the chase. Birmingham win it by six wickets. And I feel like, once again, I just don't know if we're getting enough runs on the board. Like, we're going at the equivalent of nine runs and over. Like, 150 is about a 180, right? But when the game is shorter, there's obviously people going to strike higher. And for whatever reason, we've struggled significantly with that. I was probably the most expensive of the bowlers in that particular game. This is tough. This has been tricky for us. I feel like we need a score of 200 or at least a one. Like if you're batting 100 balls, you probably need to get about 160 on the board, I would say. At least. 170 maybe would be a really good score because we're just not cutting it at the moment. So guys, we are already halfway through the 100. This is how the competition is looking at the moment. London Spirit uh, in first place. The Trent Rockets, one win, three losses. Uh, it's not looking good for us, but there's a number of teams on two and two. So hopefully the second half of the fixture, our last four games, we can find a way back into it and we can get ourselves into the finals of the 100 because right now it is looking like a faraway strategy. And obviously we haven't had a chance to bat yet. So if we do get a chance to bat, I think we're going to solve all the problems. Maybe. I could be wrong. But we'll come back and do that next video. Thanks for watching today. Sorry I didn't get a chance to bat, but um, we'll try again next time. See you later. Goodbye.